Fast and Furious 7 director James Wan has hit his roots in horror, having previously directed such films as Insidious 1 and 2, Saw and The Conjuring. Now, Wan has just given a title to his newest horror film that he's producing. The new film, directed by Will Cannon, has been titled Demonic. The story of Demonic centers on the aftermath of a horrific massacre. Five college students brutally murdered inside a decrepit, abandoned home. Fresh on the scene, Detective Mark Lewis and the police department's psychologist, Dr. Elizabeth Klein, played by Maria Bello, question one of the few survivors who explains that they were amateur ghost hunters seeking out paranormal phenomenon at the abandoned house, believed to be haunted. But what started out as a harmless activity turned into something truly terrifying, and the suspect claims the responsibility doesn't lie with any of the inhabitants, but with the house itself. Aaron, buy or sell the sounds of demonic. I'm absolutely going to buy this. This movie sounds great. And I love the fact that James Wan, as a director, I really like him. I'm excited to see him branch out to other things. And I wasn't sure if he wanted to still have his hand in the horror genre. But I love the fact that he is, even if it's just as a producer. So I'm really excited to see where this movie goes. I love the synopsis. And I think James Wan can do no wrong. So I'm pretty excited to see this. Step. I'm going to hesitantly buy it. I mean, Demonic, it's a, it's a fun title. It reminds me a little bit of like a trauma movie or something, <laughs> like Demonic Toys or you know or something like that. Uh, I, I would call it Harmful Activity instead of <laughs> Paranormal. That would be my title for it. But um, yeah, you know what? I mean, I think James Wan has done such a great job with his last few horror films that as long as he's overseeing it, and he's not just like you know passing it off and being like a peripheral producer. And, and make sure that it has those kind of scares that The Conjuring did, then I'm gonna see it. If it falls more into the realm of something like closer to like a paranormal activity type film, then I'll pass. So. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this one too. I mean, this sounds interesting to me. And from what I understand, Juan was pretty involved in this one as a producer. I mean, this is still the director's film, but he was Juan was pretty involved. And I really like him as a horror director, actually. I, uh, I've been into his stuff. The Conjuring is still a film. I'm still so amazed good. how yeah. much so I like good. The Conjuring. And you're right. I am very curious to see where Juan goes doing other stuff. How he will do on Fast and Furious 7 is going to tell us a lot about Juan in his future. Because if he can knock out of the park of Fast and Furious 7, and we already know he can do horror so well, I don't think we're going to see him do horror, though, as a director, probably for another three, four, five years. But it, you're right. It's nice to see him still have his kind of hand in the pot a little bit. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.